Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I will be making an ID out of one of my own terminals. So, I will be using Tilix, spelled T-I-L-I-X. And, give me a second. It's a Thailand terminal, terminal emulator. So as you can see, it's terminal, and you can completely customize it. Um, custom links, drag and drop, image support, multiple panes. It does a lot of things. And it works on all of these different operating systems. Um, so it is a nice, nice terminal editor. Features and everything. So we will be creating our own terminal or our own ID using Tilix. So first colors color theme. If you would oh. Okay, anyways, if you would like to configure it, there's all these options. I did zoom the terminal using the control wheel, which allows me to zoom in when I um click control and scroll. So I could zoom out all the way or zoom in. I think that that's good. Um, preferences. Parents. For parents, I just switch the theme to dark. So theme dark. And then profiles. Um, you could change some things here. And here in color. I was, um, this is like the default, but I went to with, I was going to go with my dark theme, but then I decided to go with this theme. It just looks the best with the dark theme that's already applied. And I guess that's all here. And then you can create keyboard shortcuts and other stuff here. Um, let's start creating the actual ID. So here, we will create a window here. This will be our terminal where we run things. And this right here, this terminal right here, will be our um, file viewer for a project. And then this right here will be our editor. So, Let's initialize a directory. So, this is where you can find your files in the directory. And, it, oh. um, and it will show, this is kind of messed up. The larger the file names are and more folders are, it will actually overlap into the next line. So here we could see the directors of everything. Plugins, it's kind of like our folder viewer. Or if you don't want to do that, you could do L um, wait, ls. So here's all the folders. And in this terminal, we will, this will be like editing. So I guess for now, let's work on Client. So here, this is our files, and then over here, we will have our terminal. So, this is where we will be running our code. This will be where we're editing it. Um, so now we can see the files over here and we can easily edit them. So let's say I want to edit the actual file. So, client. so here we have our editor. Over here we have our files. Oh, that's, give me a second. 
There we go, that's better. So here we have our files. Here we have our editor. Here we have our terminal to run this. So, that's basically it. And you can also add more things here, like if I want to. There we go. This terminal will be used for managing Git. So this will be for running our code. So here we're going to be running our code. Here we can easily edit it. Here we can see our files, and here we will be managing Git. Oh. So here we're going to pull our code. Oh, already up to date. Here we're going to edit it. So, basically right now we already have a nice editor. And the nice thing is you can always expand. So here, let's say I want another editor. I'm going to use this editor right here to manage the alley. Yeah, I'm just yeah, okay, here, split downwards. Give me a second. Underneath. So here, this will be used nano control. Here, we could use this to edit our control file. Everything's here. You could use the arrow keys in order to sc scroll over, as you can see. Here, we could change our version, stuff like that. And then here, I'm going to just open up the to-do list, so... Here we have our to-do list, and here we go, full editor. Every single thing I need to edit this one project. This project is really just one shell script, and this stuff, like here and here, is all. This is used to run it, this is where we used to code it, and this is the information for adding it to a Debian package. So, like, this will be, if I was to install it, this is what I will see. And here we can even, let's add another terminal. Let's make it to underneath, yeah. This is only a temporary terminal. Here we could do sudo dash make. Okay, we're gonna, if I run this, it will make the Debian file. So this will allow me to run it in Ubuntu. Wait, wrong button, here. So I type in my password. And if I run this command again, start at cli.deb. So I just ran this and it compiled that Debian file. And all it really did is it took this control and took this start x cli and added that to Debian file, and then use a control to add the information. So now, if I go in here, desktop, choice of works, start X. If I run this, 
here. This is all the information here. Uh, CLI to control and activate desktop interfaces, V2.0. All of this information here, I can edit right here, V2.0. All of that. So, in theory, I can edit every single thing of the project in this one terminal. So, that is basically it. I'll probably use this a lot to um, code like single file as, um, shell projects and it doesn't even need to be single file because I could just X out of this window and, or open up another one here and edit the code there. We no longer need this because we're not making any um, get changes. So if I don't need it, just X out and it will automatically adjust. To do list, I don't need that because it's on GitHub. Um, like I can see all the issues and stuff on GitHub, so we don't need that. And I'll ask you, do you want to close the session? Uh, let's just be safe and do Control X. Here, uh, Control. It's all up to date, so we'll just drag it over a little. There we go. And I can't type today. Uh, we don't need the Stardex Clyde dot deb because we're not installing it so there it is now in theory if we run ls it's going to be gone so there we go here we can see our files here we can edit the main code here we can edit another pr um, file here we can run our file and here we could build our code we no longer need to build our code, so here we go. Are you sure? So yeah, there it is. Uh, let's try something. No, that didn't work. So, oh. Uh, I didn't finish that. Let's make a change and let's send it up. I cannot type today. There we go. So now I output our file. Wait. Oh, that's all good. No, we don't need X out of it. In here, we're going to just run that here. Yes. Are we still recording? Okay, well actually it did work. Um there was a problem. Yes. I was run uh okay, so this program that I created should be ran in a new TTY instance. So right now I'm using probably like one or two. But so if I was gonna use it, I do control alt f three to f seven and it switches me over and I log in and then I run start X. And then it, I type in what interface I want, and it'll open it up. I accidentally opened up an interface over GNOME, so that kind of messed up everything. Let's just 
restart it. Oh, I'm back. That was quick. Okay. Okay, so now that we restarted that, wait, this is. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That shouldn't be here. I'll just hide it. There we go. Uh, my second screen's not working now for some reason. So I'm only using two screens, my first screen and my third screen. I need to get an adapter for my second screen to work because I switched the driver and it's a long story. But that worked successfully. That command worked. So you can see I started up and it started up. Let's see if I can find where it mentioned it. No, it doesn't say. Well, it did work successfully. I'm pretty certain. So yeah, that's basically it. It worked, that's all good. High five. Thanks. So, control O, control X. We don't, now here's how I close it down. Here we don't need, here we don't need, here we don't need. There we go, one window. There we go. Uploading, and we're all good. High five. Okay, that was great. So, we're com completely finished. Wow, that was good. So, that's basically it. Hopefully, this is kind of like a nice alternative. If you saw my layout, I was trying to mock the Visual Studios type thing. With you have your files on the side, and you have your terminal down there, and then you have your editing window. Then I added some other ones that's not part of Visual Studios. That's just an addition. But all of that was text-based editing. And actually, I have to say, having multiple windows and everything was really nice to have. So hopefully this helped you. You can install it from that um, Git website that I showed you. I'll open it up one more time. Here's the website. and source code 2800 commits last one was 13 days ago so it's still being actively maintained and the technology is built in D never heard of it well it works and I have to say it's nice hmm. I wonder how it gets that like master development thing pop up. Well, I have to say it is nice, and here's installation. You can download your packages from here. So if I'm running Ubuntu, I'll click here, and then it will give me information on how to do it. If you're running um, Cosmic or Disco, then use the Bionic button. That should work. So, yeah, that's it. Here it is, Tilix. Really nice editor, I have to say. So, it's all its purpose, clear, and now we're back to a single window editor. Okay, that's basically it. See you in the next episode. Feel free to hit that like button down below and subscribe. And if you like more technology videos like this, then just tell me in the comments, Joseph, this was a great video. Okay, I have to go now. See you later. Bye.